Hello everyone. Happy Thursday afternoon. Um, I thought I would be coming to you with a whole new project, but instead I was standing this earlier. I've actually had a couple of messages. All of a sudden everyone's doing paint washes. So I thought I was just going to do a really quick video um, to show those couple of people how to do it, but I thought why not do a live because we've got the top of the TV unit that we're working on in the last couple of videos. Um, and originally I was just going to stain this sepia, um, which is pure eco stain and glaze, but as we know from yesterday's live, my jar's nearly empty, so I thought why not do a paint wash on it. Um, I haven't... I don't think I've ever demonstrated a paint wash before, so I thought it was a good way to, good, good opportunity to do that. So, for a paint wash, we have got, you need some raw timber to pop it onto. You can do a paint wash over, like a glaze instead over paint, but today we are popping it over some raw timber. So this is that pine TV unit that we're working on. I have sanded it back 80 grit, 120 grit, to 40 grit. I think there was one after that. I don't know. But I've done my standard sanding back. It's looking beautiful. I've just spent 10 minutes cleaning up all of my edges. This has got like, um, what's the word? Panels? They're individual pieces of wood and normally when on furniture, they like put them together and you can't see those joints. But on this one, they've been previously highlighted. So I've just spent 10 minutes with my carbide scraper. You can find these on our website. Using that to clean out all of those joins, making sure they're all nice and pretty and looking good. Um, but the top of it, let me bring you a little bit closer. We've got a lot of putty marks. They've nailed and puttied from the top. Um, there's a few glue marks still. So it's not the prettiest top. So I thought I wanted to stain it a little bit darker. Um, so I thought let's do a paint wash with Pure Eco Silk Finish in the colour Brumby, which is this beautiful dark chocolate brown. Um, and I just thought since I'm getting questions about this, let's show you. So you need your paint. You need some water. Sorry, I'm just going to grab my sponge because I forgot to grab it. You need something to apply your wash with. I like to use the sponge applicators. They are $7. They're linked below. These are brilliant. Um, as you can see, this one's been very well used. They just keep on going. Uh, you need something to mix your paint into. I've just got a glass container today to show you some water. And, of course, you need your paint. So you can use any paint you like. I love using Pure Eco Silk Finish for this. I don't – I can't explain why. I just really, really like how it thins with the water. I like how it looks when it gets applied. I like how it soaks in. It just looks good. But you can use any paint you like, any colour you like. Um, but we're using Brumby today. So the base of this, let me turn you because these drawers are a good example, is a fossil, the same as the drawers. They are out of the bedside tables that we did in our yesterday's live and the previous few before this. So... You're going to take your paint and you're going to mix it with some water. So the paint as is is too thick and you'd be painting it. We don't want to paint, we want to wash it. So you're going to take some of your paint, you're going to tip some in. So this is a pretty good size piece. It's about a metre by half a metre, so it's a pretty decent size space. So I always like to pour out and mix more than what I possibly need. You don't want to get halfway through and realise that you don't want to that you don't have enough. So I'm going to do probably two tablespoons, just over a tablespoon. Hang on, that's, you can't see through the side of the jar. It's glass and you still can't see it. So just over a tablespoon of paint there. And then I like to mix it to be between the consistency of like milk and thickened cream. Um, so somewhere in there. I don't like it too thin. I don't like it too thick. If it's too thick, it's going to um, be a lot colour, sorry, a lot darker and it's not going to have, hang on, is it going to have the opacity? That's the right word. I just can't remember which way it works. Um, if it's too thick, you're not going to see your timber as well. 
if it's too thin, you're not going to see as much of your new colour. So, so you want it somewhere in between. Um, have a play around with it though. If you decide it's too thick, you can then keep thinning it down. You can spritz onto it as you're applying it as well. Otherwise, let it dry, sand it off, start again. It will sand off really quite easily as well. So I've just got my spray bottle. This is the continuous misters, which we've got full control of. And I'm just adding, I should have just opened it, but let's just do this instead. <laughs> I'm going to add about double the water to begin with, a little bit more. The goal here is not to spill the water. So I've got about double the water almost, and I'm just going to use a popstick, use whatever you've got going on. Popstick's probably not the best of choices, but you're just going to mix that up with the water. So silk finish to be painted with can be um, mixed up to with 30%. Hang on, wrong way around. It can be mixed with up to 30% of water to thin it and still be used as paint without affecting the formula. But um, for a paint wash, we want to thin it more than that. So at the moment, we're about 50%. So a 50-50 formulation. And the pop stick's actually a really good way to sort of see where we're at. So I'm just going to pop some on my finger and wipe it on. So that's sort of where we're at. I want it a little bit thinner. I don't want this too thick. So I'm going to add in maybe another tablespoon or so of water. So we're probably sitting closer to like 75% water. Give it a good mix again. And mine's pretty close to the consistency of milk. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, I'm just going to grab my finger. So here's our clean pop stick. I'm just going to dip it in. So that's about where we want it. That's a good, actually, the pop stick came in handy there, didn't it? That's a great way to sort of see where you're at and whether or not you like what you're working with. All right, so I'm really happy with that consistency. I've got about 30 mil. I can't tip it, but I've got about 30, 30 to 50 mil um, all up, which is pretty good. So we're going to grab our sponge. I'm actually going to dampen my sponge. It's up to you. You don't have to dampen it. I'm going to dampen it just a little bit, and I'm also just going to lightly spritz over my timber. This is just going to help um, our paint wash glide on nicely, and we're going to work our paint wash in just the same as we would if we were – using a glaze, okay? So the application side of things is exactly the same. So I'm just going to dip it in exactly the same, load up my sponge, and then I'm going to start bo ooh, bottom top without putting it everywhere. And it, it is quite heavy. Take our time all the way across. Now, because this is paint and not the stain glaze, we're going to work a little bit quicker. And we're going to rub that paint. So this colour's Brumby as well. I'm not sure if I said that at the start. But we're going to rub that paint, the paint wash, into our timber. This is going to help hide some of that Filler, you're not going to hide all of it. You won't always cover filler. It depends on what was originally used. But it is going to help hide some of that glue as well. This has been really well sanded, but I just couldn't remove it all. And you're just going to keep moving it around. I'm just making sure I get it into these um, little joins as well. And I can always come back afterwards as well with just a really fine paintbrush if there's any that I just haven't been able to get it in there with. And you can do this with any colour paint you like. It doesn't have to be a brown. 
a lot do it with white. Um, you could do it with a colour as well. And you could use this as like a glaze instead over paint, say an aged look, or if you're wanting just to add a bit more depth to your piece. Just making sure I get those edges as well. And again, it's got that little um, cut out in the groove along the edge. Getting down the sides. It's such a nice colour. I love how silk finish looks like this. Chalk finish looks very similar, but there's just something about the way silk finish sits for me that I really, really like for doing a paint wash. Like so. So we're pretty even. We're looking really, really nice. I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to wet it quite a bit. I'm going to squeeze out some of that excess. You could just go wash your sponge as well, but because I'm on the video, on live, I just got to do this instead. So I'm just spritzing it down. It's fairly clean. And now I'm going to take that and wipe it across. We're looking pretty even, actually. But that damp sponge, I'm just going to wipe it across and we're going to pick up any of that excess paint that's sitting on there and just make sure that we're as even as possible. And we're also going to just sort of rub it in that little bit more as well. So just sort of working it in. You can go in with a new cloth to do this, but I find that um, just using the same sponge is fine. And we're just really rubbing that in, making sure we haven't missed anywhere and evening it out as well. Brumby is such a pretty colour. Look at that. So then we're going to let this dry. Or I'm going to let it dry. Um, I've actually got things to do today, so I can't sit here all day. But I'm going to let this fully dry, just an hour or two. It really doesn't take long at all. And then I'm going to, you can wax or oil. I've got a wax on me, so I'm just going to use that today. Um, I'm using up what I've got at the moment. So this is a great way to use up like the bottom of your jar. If you've just got a little bit of paint left in your jar, um, you might find that they dry out quite easily once there's only like 10, 15 mil left in there. So add some water to it and create a wash. And then you can do this. Isn't it gorgeous? So I have squeezed out my my cloth in there so there's a little bit more water. Ooh, I can't show you. Hang on. <laughs> a little bit left in there than what there was, but we did use all that. So definitely mix enough for your whole piece. So how beautiful is that? So that's Brumby in the Pure Eco Silk Finish range. Brumby is only available in the Silk Finish at, at the moment, but there is a few other browns like Fawn. Um, we've also got colours like Chino as well. You could use any of the neutrals um, and achieve, or you can use any of the colours, but any of the neutrals would create a really, really nice wash. Let me bring you a little bit closer. And then we'll say goodbye. Let me show you a little close-up of it. Not of me, of it. <laughs> so we're nice and even. So some, some sections will always soak in a little bit more. But overall, so I've got that top edge as well. So paint washes are such a great way just to use up a little bit of your leftover paint. Um, if you don't want to go all out and buy stains, if you're just doing the odd project here and there, it's a great way to do it. I've done, um, I did a plant stand for my mum ages ago with Pure Eco's lead, which is a very dark grey. And then I didn't have any stains on me at all, so I actually did a paint wash with the lead on the top and it was beautiful and it was just nice. So... You can also use, like I could have used Fossil and done a wash over the top, um, just so it's matchy-matchy but not matchy-matchy. 
So there's that little bit of a difference, but just enough. But isn't it beautiful? And I think that colour works really well with the timber as well. It's a very rustic piece. So I think that worked really well. All right. I think that's it from me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, that's it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, have a go. Shoot me through some photos if you've done any paint washes. I'd love to share them and, and see them. Um, but, yeah, let me know if you've got questions. I'll make sure this goes up on our YouTube as well so you can catch up on it again later. Have a lovely afternoon and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.